on the dissolution of the body. After death, <coughs> it is possible that the evolving consciousness may pass on to rebirth in the imperturbable. Now these are the Brahma Lokas. The Brahma Lokas last a long time. There's two measurements of time that the Buddha talks about. An asankaya. An asankaya is just when the the earth or the, the universe starts expanding until it stops. That's one asankaya. I've seen in commentaries where they tried to give that in years. And of course... Um, it is a commentary, so who knows how, how accurate it really is. But they say that it's uh, in the number of earth years, it's 10 to the 160th power. In other words, 160 zeros behind 10. That's how many years it lasts. Now, the, the other measurement is Mahakapas. And that is four asankayas. There's the expansion of the universe that's one asankaya. Now, when the universe is expanding, that's when life occurs. Okay? That's when all living beings come into being, when the universe <coughs> is expanding. And then it stops for one asankaya. And then the universe contracts for one asankaya. And then it stops for one asankaya. These four asankayas are called a mahakapa. Now, if you get to the fourth jhana, and don't ever go any higher than that in this lifetime. When you die, you will be reborn in a Brahma Loka that lasts for 500 Maha Kapas. So, and you have to remember that the... Um, the Brahma Lokas are what you would call a heavenly realm. Now, a person that that never does any mental development, but they live a good life, they can be reborn in a heavenly heavenly realm called a uh, Deva Loka. Uh, there's six different deva lokas that last for progressively longer periods of time. But they don't even come close to the Mahakapa. So it's a, it's a real good thing to develop your mind. If you never get any higher, you will still be in a realm that the only nourishment you need to keep your body going is joy. Okay? So you have some joy every day and your body keeps going and it lasts for a long period of time. Anyone that can get into the uh, immaterial realms, the number of mahakapas you are living, you die, die from this realm and go to those realms, it's considerably longer that you would be in those realms. Infinite space. Uh, is if you don't ever go any higher, you would be reborn in the Brahma Loka and it would last 20,000 Mahakapas. 
<laughs> if you get into infinite consciousness and you don't go any higher and you die from this realm, you will be reborn in a Brahma Loka that lasts for 40,000 kapas. If you experience nothingness, you would die and be reborn in a realm that lasts for 60,000 mahakapas. You get into the realm of neither perception nor non-perception, but you don't go any higher than that. It lasts for 84,000 mahakapas. 